We are in the midst of two remarkable revolutions, a biological revolution and a computational revolution. For decades, biology has been a great mystery, but now for the first time, the complete parts list of life is in hand. We know all the genes in the human genome, the proteins they encode, and we're learning how variation in those genes puts us at risk for disease. The computational revolution is no less exciting. Major advances in machine learning and computational power have made the unimaginable a reality. But the awesome power of machine learning hasn't yet been brought to bear on deciphering the programs of life. Given the huge amounts of biological and medical data that are currently available, we need to develop computational methods that can help us identify and understand the underlying biological mechanisms. And so when it comes to the programs of life, we want to understand the underlying logic behind these biological components. How do we go from a single cell to a fully fledged organism? Or in cancer, what are the programs of life that go awry to cause uncontrolled cell growth and that horrible disease? The Eric and Wendy Schmidt Center is an endowed center that is based at the Broad Institute. Now its ultimate goal is to understand the programs of life. And to do this, the center will catalyze a new scientific discipline, which is at the interface of the life sciences on one hand and the data sciences on the other hand. So the Broad's amazing data generation capabilities make it really an ideal place to fuel such a deep engagement between the life sciences and the data sciences. The last two decades have witnessed an explosion of biological data. That's because of new and powerful data generation technologies such as DNA sequencing, molecular imaging, and single cell genomics. We suddenly have the ability to profile life on an unprecedented scale. Machine learning has been extremely successful in recent years in varied tasks, ranging from computer vision to recommender systems to advertising. And this has really been achieved by developing computational methods that can sift through huge amounts of data and then identify patterns. So I really think the time now is ripe for machine learning to drive new discoveries in biology, and at the same time also for biology to drive foundational discoveries in machine learning. Broad is uniquely suited to creating such a center of excellence for three reasons. We have researchers with real biomedical problems to solve. We have data scientists with the latest technologies to solve them. Most importantly, we have a strong and scalable data infrastructure. We have the potential to bring the worlds of biomedicine and machine learning together to understand the programs of life. Of all the exciting uses of computer science, I can think of nothing more important than using it to understand biology and human health. This generation's biologists and computer scientists have an awesome opportunity to work together to make this vision a reality.